Welcome to AFJ Trending News and Space Topics. I'm Yunitsa Munoz, and let's get into some exciting news about our galaxy. NASA has announced recently that much more water has been discovered on the sunlit surface side of the moon than what they had originally thought, an important revelation that indicates water may be distributed across the lunar surface and not just limited to its cold, shadowed portion. This is good news for astronauts because they have future hopes to create a space station on the moon and they could tap into the H2O resources for drinking and rocket fuel production. Water is a precious resource in deep space and a key ingredient of life as we know it. Whether water on the moon is easily accessible for use as a resource remains determined. However, the finding is great news. Aside from an update about our moon, here is an ET update. The Pentagon recently confirmed the creation of an agency designed to track potential UFOs, known formally as the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, also known as the UAPTF. The Department of Defense established this program to improve its understanding of any UFO sightings. The Pentagon said the mission of this task force is to detect, analyze, and catalog UFOs that could potentially pose a threat to the USA. This department has started to allow the public to know about UFO investigations on space aircraft crashes. Amazing, right? Well, we can now say that we're not the only ones in the universe. In other news, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said on Twitter recently that his company's satellite internet service Starlink will offer speeds close to 300 megabytes per second this year. That's roughly twice as fast as currently advertised and would represent a significant step forward for the service as it seeks to deliver high-speed internet to unserved regions across the globe. The tweet came in reply to a customer posting about their internet home speed results with a newly installed Starlink Wi-Fi connection. SpaceX launched an exciting contest on the Inspiration4 website to win final seats on their spacecraft along with a billionaire and a doctor. The purpose of this is to show the public that anyone should be able to travel to the new spectrum of vacationing in space. The mission is advertised as the first all-private mission and will include no professional astronauts. SpaceX is pioneering the effort to to boost space tourism. Furthermore, companies such as Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are working on a spacecraft that could one day bring paying customers to sub-orbit. This could be considered a very cool ride or a brief vacation. Pretty cool, right? The United States Space Force is now drafting out space rules with allies for international efforts to adopt legal behaviors in space. Legal advocates are addressing that a useful template for rules in space should be the maritime domain. Ms. Bird of the Space Force has stated that there has been a lot of rules and exploration over hundreds of years, and we've established norms that become laws about the rules of the sea. However, now we should apply those rules similar to space, and the process should be quite similar. Ms. Burt also stated that it's important to have laws to ensure our safety for future travelers and laws to prevent any wars against us or any issues with our satellites. Our future is looking more galactic and really interesting, isn't it? Have you ever wondered if humans are ready to colonize Mars? Here are some facts by SpaceX about humans on Mars. First off, to travel to Mars can take up to seven months. Mars is roughly about 250 million miles away. Arriving on the planet is very dangerous because it does not have a lot of oxygen. Mars has 38% amount of gravity and the lack of gravity could lead to serious health risks. Water is scarce and the soil is very toxic too. And if all of the above wasn't a barrier for life on Mars, we'd probably freeze to death first. I don't know if we're ready, guys. With all that being said, having humans colonize Mars won't be done anytime soon 
because we have a lot of preparation to do with the spacesuits, housing, food, and so much more. However, Elon Musk does have hopes to at least get more robots there to gather more data. Maybe in a hundred years our tech will be able to keep us alive in Mars. But for now, it's best to stay on Earth. Thank you, space fans. I hope you enjoyed some galactic news. This new show is brought to you by Alien Fresh Jerky. Check out their fun-themed beef jerky flavors at alienfreshjerky.com.